Hey there, it's Matt. Welcome back to Practice Perfect University. Today we'll be walking you through the function bar and explaining the functions of all the different icons. Class is now in session. Step 1. The function bar is home to many different icons, each representing a different function within Practice Perfect, all of which can be accessed with the click of a button. Now let's take a closer look at them in the scheduler. The very first button we'll be examining is the green plus sign. This icon can be seen throughout Practice Perfect and is used for adding new data. Whether it's a new appointment in the scheduler, a new client in the client listing, or a new payer while in the payer listing. Next we have the new blocking icon. This icon is exclusive to the scheduler and can be used for making changes to a therapist's availability on the fly. By clicking New Blocking, you're able to block out some time in their schedule, preventing appointments from being booked within that time slot. This is used for non-client time like lunch or a meeting. Then we have the Edit icon. This icon can be seen throughout Practice Perfect, and like the name suggests, it's used for editing existing data. For example, when I click an appointment and select the edit icon, I have the option of altering the appointment details. Step 2. Moving on to the second section of function bar icons, the first one allows you to print a client statement. By selecting a patient and clicking this icon, the statement printing panel will appear. Next you have the print label icon. When used in the scheduler, you are able to print appointment labels listing the patient's upcoming appointments. Please note that if this icon is selected on the client's, payer's, physician's, or other contact listing screen, mailing labels will be produced instead. Step 3. In terms of viewing different dates in the scheduler, there are a couple different methods for doing so. Use the last week appointments and the next week appointments to quickly jump through your calendar one week at a time. If you're viewing the scheduler for an individual provider and you select this option, you'll be able to see their appointments for each individual day of the week. The previous day, today, and next day icons enable you to easily browse through the dates of your scheduler one day at a time. Selecting previous day takes you backwards one day. Next day brings you one day forward, and today will return you to today's date. Step 4. The following six icons represent the financial functions. The first three deal with entering treatment or service charges, generating invoices, and processing payments. For example, once I select a patient's appointment and click New Treatment, the following panel will appear. I can input details about the specific treatment or service charges administered during this session for the client whose name appears along the top of the screen. The Invoicing icon enables you to generate a generic invoice and or receipt for this patient. Please note that if you select invoicing from the payer screen, then invoices will be produced for the payers rather than the clients. Lastly, the payment icon enables you to process any payments the patient is making. Click it to reveal the new payment panel. Step 5. The next three icons are all about viewing the client's financial record in a few different ways. The Activities by Service screen takes you to a full list of the treatment or service charges associated with this patient or payer by incident. The Activities by Invoice screen brings you to a full list of the invoices prepared for this patient or payer by incident. The Activities by Payment screen provides you with a comprehensive list of the payments made by either the patient or payer. These are also sorted by incident. Each of the above behave differently 
if accessed from the payer listing, but essentially perform the same functions. The Activities by Progress note will provide you with a full list of the progress or daily notes for this patient. These are also categorized by incident. And if you wish to add a new daily note, select Create the Client Progress Note from the function bar. Activities by Document takes you to a screen containing all of the documents that you have attached to this client. This icon on the payers, physicians, and other contact listings will bring you to the documents attached to those specific entities. Client contact logs will reveal the contact log entries for this particular patient. The same can be said for the contact log icon in the payers, physicians, and other contacts listings as well. The activity by goal icon takes you to a list of dates for which you recorded or updated this patient's goals. The edit icon on that page will reveal the goals that were entered for each of these dates. The next icon allows you to examine and alter the functional limitations reporting measures that you have set up for this client. Please note that this only appears in the American version of Practice Perfect. Step 6. Next we have the Find Appointments button on the function bar. This tool gives you the ability to look up any patient appointments, past or future, using a number of different filters and provides you with key information about each. You may also use this function to search the scheduler for available time slots. And at any given time, you may select an opening in the scheduler and click the check waiting list button on the function bar to see if any patients have requested to book an appointment during that opening. Step 7. The next icon on the function bar is the new client button. This enables you to create new patients on the fly without needing to return to the client's view. This icon may also be used to create a new incident for a patient, provided you've already selected one. Step 8. The ICD-9 to ICD-10 conversion icon is not one you'll need to be using too often. This one is used to convert patients with ICD-9 codes to the more recent ICD-10 codes. This icon only appears in the American version of Practice Perfect. Step 9. The Client Account Summary is a helpful tool that enables you to look up the patient's account summary, appointment statistics, and more with the click of a button. The next icon is Discharge Client Incident. If you are discharging the patient from your clinic, whether they have completed treatment or not, they would use this function. Step 10. The next icons deal with some of Practice Perfect's integrated add-ons. The first launches the Physiotech Home Exercise Program and will take you right into the current client's exercise programs within Physiotech. Photo icon will take the current client's basic demographic information and send it to photo for inclusion in your photo database. Photo is an outcomes measurement, data management, and analysis application. The third represents our integration with TELUS Health, which is Canadian only. Please contact the support department for more information about both Physiotech and Photo. Step 11. And last but not least, we have the Delete icon. This icon makes appearances throughout Practice Perfect. Clicking this will delete the selected appointment, client, invoice, etc., depending on where you are and what is highlighted. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out practiceperfectemr.com for the rest of our Practice Perfect University videos. Classes dismissed.